there's there's always somebody looking for a secret or a tip for trapping and you know what what can i do to to make myself you know better and, and what's the easy way out you know when it comes to trapping i gotta be honest with you there's no easy way well this week on the beginning series i, I just wanted to try and you know kind of wrap a lot of things up that we've talked about as far as uh you know, getting to where there's some tips and, and things that I can give you. Uh, and you've probably heard a lot of these as we went through this series in the in the uh, previous segments. But when it comes to uh, tips and tricks and secrets and things like that, you're just not going to uh, have a secret out there or a, a special bait or lure that's, that's going to give you success over anybody else. There really are no secrets, and, and the biggest tip that I can give everybody is actually to work hard. I've, I've been very fortunate over the years to film a lot of different guys in, in a lot of different situations, and the one common denominator that everybody has is actually uh, their work ethic. And you're going to get out of it. The more that you can put into it is going to create the more success that you have moving forward. So uh, that's the biggest tip that I can give everybody out there is just stay focused and work hard and and you're going to have success. Um, When it comes to uh, some tips, you can just look to have good equipment. And, and understand that you don't need a lot of equipment for that to uh, occur. If you have the minimal equipment, it's going to be much better than going out and buying every contraption, trying to figure out how you want to do something. The biggest thing I can say is find your own routine. If you like the way I make a set, then consistently do that over and over and over and you're going to have a lot more confidence in your set making ability if you see somebody else on youtube or you've seen somebody else uh, make their set and you want to emulate them make your set like them but do the same thing over and over and over and i think that's one of the best things that i can give you as far as a tip to get out there and and really consistently put yourself in a position to uh, catch these critters. Catching nest raiders and and going out after those animals like the raccoons, the possums, the skunks, biggest tip, find sign. Set on sign, put your DPs in the ground and you're going to catch them because they're going to be running there every night, you know, and we can sit here and we can go over all of these different things that we've covered already. We've given, you know, we're trying to wrap it into a tip segment, but we've given you all this information. So what you've seen in these previous weeks are tips for success in and of themselves. And if you just concentrate on bedding your trap properly as a canine trapper, following the sign that's out there, putting your traps on sign, and literally being consistent and finding the system that works for you, you're going to extend your hunting season throughout the whole year and be able to go out there and become the steward of your own land. I've been with Jim Bridger or somebody uh, exploring the West, setting beaver traps in the middle of the winter. You have to enjoy it. It's got to be part of who you are. It's got to be in your blood. Um, There are little tips and tricks, you know, don't over lure and don't over bait and make sure that your trap is bedded properly and make sure that you have clean equipment and all of those different things that go into that. Uh, But quite honestly, for anybody that is watching this or listening to this, the biggest tip and the secret that I can give you is to work hard and stay focused. Don't get disgruntled. There's been a lot of times I put traps in the ground. Oh man, we're going to go back there tomorrow and oh, we're going to have two or three and we go back and there's nothing. And you go back the next day and there's nothing. faith in your sets and you make a good set and you have a good lure and a good bait and you're on location where you know you have sign you're going to go in there and you're going to have these critters at some point